today is turnaround day. It's day one of another cruise and today marks four weeks until sign off, which is crazy. I keep saying that, but that is not very much time left on board and it's another nine day cruise. So it's going to be a fun week. We've got some fun little things coming up this cruise. We should be doing a full melt. Maybe the last time I did that was on Voyager. Super Bowl is in a couple days and of course Valentine's Day. So I'm about to get off the ship and head to the ministry quickly. I've got literally an hour off of the ship before I have to come back for my Muster 2.0 shift. Tour leaves at 9. And we're just waiting. We're gonna be late? Yes, we are. I literally just ran here, but I've made it in like three minutes. Good morning. Thank you. is just a crazy day. I pretty much got off the ship for 40 minutes. <laughs> no, maybe less than that after we actually were able to get off the ship. They say that shore leave is at nine o'clock, but it's never at nine o'clock. It's always like 9.20 before they even let us off. And then they only take five people at a time. So I think I was off the ship by 9.30. I was not able to get like anything that I needed to get done. So I'm a bit frustrated right now. Trying to have a job on the internet when you have like literally no service or Wi-Fi, strong Wi-Fi, is impossible. I'm just ranting. The internet did not work and I have no time because I have work in literally five minutes and I'm working until 10 p.m. tonight. But that's the story of my life. So what can we do, right? What can we do? But now it's time for muster. I have changed and I've got to head up for the little briefing and it should be a three hour shift. And from there, I'm gonna go straight to working Wi-Fi so that I have some minutes for this upcoming cruise because we are only allowed to work on day one and I have to go from Wi-Fi to prepare for the shows. <laughs> it's just chaos. Always 11 o'clock or 10 45. Yeah, it's usually 11. myself a little Greek yogurt parfait. I'm really excited. This has been so delicious and honestly I've been having this for dinner some nights because I think my body is just <laughs> sick of the mess. This should tie me over for the shows, give me some energy, some added protein, and then I will eat show food afterwards. Warm-up went well. One thing I didn't mention last cruise, we had a triple reblock, but also the same day that that happened the zamboni broke so stage staff has been manually doing the ice which i mean bless them for putting that much effort into it because that's not easy but it's obviously not the same quality as having a zamboni so ice was definitely not great today for warm-ups hopefully it's a little bit better for shows but we'll, we'll see i'm gonna eat this and i think i'm gonna read because i am about 80 percent of the way through my book so i'm almost done 
and I want to finish it so that I can start a new one tomorrow. I also just want to show you the tree quickly. A bunch of you mentioned that I should get little bows to make it like a Valentine's Day tree and I got pink ribbon and I think it's so cute. So I always leave my umbrella, yeah. the one that I picked up. We'll be there Toxic. again. Okay, we're gonna call Detective Bin Wan. Talk to see. Bin Wan, go. I wanna see. I wanna see. Put the booty. Bam! Yeah. Okay, time for a show. Nothing else to say. But you didn't sing cozy. I'm not Nothing else to say. My belly hurts. What else is new? By the stairs, I could see you like. Are you cold? I'm freezing. I'm cold sweat. We finished the show, and now we have to take. Waves like videos, even though no, we no, did no, this no, at no. the beginning like, of the contract. Like, are we leaving in four weeks? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, no, you are. Like, <laughs> no, I don't really know why we're taking this video now because we leave in four weeks. But. Can we close the house? Oh! Oh! oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> Myself to a little lion today and I'm feeling a little bit guilty about it but I think it's just because I've been in such a good routine of waking up at 10 to 7 and like getting out of the room but we moved our clocks an hour forward last night and with us having to bring back show food to the galley and all of that I was not in bed until I think it was 12 30 with the hour forward or maybe even quarter to one. So my alarm went off at seven and I decided I would sleep in. So I woke up at eight, which really isn't a lion, but it feels like I had a nice little late start to my morning. <laughs> this morning I've got all skates, so I didn't make it to the gym. I could have rushed it, but I do want to take my time. So I thought I would just do it later today. I've gotten a coffee from Crew Bar. Yeah, I've got all skates in about 45 minutes. So I think I want to paint my nails before I go because that's something on my list today. And they are looking horrendous, embarrassingly bad. It's time for me to restock my little pillbox. So I'm just gonna take everything I have and just fill them in. My hair looks absolutely crazy from the wind. It's so windy out today. I thought about maybe going and setting up on the pool deck. I decided against it just because the wind is <laughs> really irritating. I think I'm going to paint my nails now. I'm going to put something on to watch, maybe some Netflix, and then I'm going to paint my nails something festive for Valentine's Day coming up. But first, we have to change out of this uniform. That's more like it. Nine minutes. 
I just need a moment. I'm on cloud nine right now. All of the endorphins are rushing through me. I honestly could have run longer, but I thought that five was a good place to stop because I have not run that long in ages. Like the last time I ran an 8K was the turkey trot on Thanksgiving years ago. I, I wanna say I ran the turkey trot in just under an hour. So 39 minutes is not too shabby, but I'm feeling very proud of myself, very accomplished. I sweat so much, so I need to shower immediately. Five miles is probably not even that impressive to a lot of you, but for me, it's a big deal. And all I can say is thank God for these sneakers. <laughs> Match around two. I think this consistency and color looks a lot better than the first time. Yeah, I nailed it. More than anything, I'm in shock that I actually like matcha. And I was just convinced that I hated matcha. Maybe I was just having bad matcha. Today is an exciting day. I have been nominated for Employee of the Month for the second time this contract. So this morning is the little ceremony. I've just gotten ready and I'm about to head up to the Star Lounge now. Also, I ran three miles today in 24 minutes, just under that. So feeling very accomplished and ready to have a great day. We're gonna start with the nominations for the front of the house from uh, sports staff. We have Callum Alexander. From the ice skaters, we have Jordan. Yeah. Also from the ice we're gonna need to try to get on a picture all together. <laughs> the ceremony was really nice. They went through the service awards first, so everyone who celebrated 5, 10, 15 and 20 years in the company and then after that they did front of house and back of house and sadly I did not win Callum did not win but we were both nominated so that's very exciting and we also got a little wow card which basically is a scratch off and we both won 180 minutes of wi-fi which is <laughs> let's go meet the gang and let's get off the ship Walking to like the main strip basically, but it's so quiet. I've never seen it this quiet here. I don't know where everyone is. Apparently they're at the carnival, but I don't know where that's taking place. Quick little pit stop for a postcard. I think we found the winner. made it back on board. I've been sipping my coffee from this morning that I never finished <laughs> and I've been working on my iPad a little bit on a Valentine's gift for Callum but it is time to head to Studio B because we have to learn how to properly make the ice. I'm not sure if I've mentioned it but we are doing a full melt this cruise so we're in charge of remaking the ice again which means we basically have to water it. I did this on Voyager 
and when we did it, we didn't have any stage staff, a PM, or a chief ref, so we had no idea what we were doing, and it ended up cracking. So hopefully that does not happen again. We're gonna do like two people, two hour shifts. This one is just gonna stay in this position because it's off when you let it go, all right? You don't have to do anything. I got a penny, because lucky. This is Canadian quarter. This is Canadian, I think. It's American. I'm at zero, obviously. <laughs> now I know where to look. She's centered now. Hello. Coins. I've been up for about three and a half hours now. Woke up at quarter to six for our shift. Um, we had to work six to eight, basically just watering the ground because we are building the ice back up. Our shift was early this morning, but it honestly wasn't that bad. The worst shift is either two to four a.m. or four to six a.m. So we lucked out there. Today we're in St. Thomas, but we don't arrive till 11.30, so we probably won't even be able to get off till quarter to one. So I think I want to head up to the gym. I haven't decided if I'm going to run today or if I'm going to do a little bit of weights. I guess we'll see when I get up there. And we're off. is a huge fish. Oh my god. We're getting on the ferry to Water Island. 15 bucks round trip. We have made it to the beach. What a beautiful day. Very, very busy. We have a 6.30 all aboard, which is really nice, so we don't have to rush back. I'm going to dig into my book. Where is it? So I'm currently reading Same Time Next Year. I think it's like a novella, like it's a really short book, because I'm already 40% of the way through and I've only read for maybe a half hour. So I think I might be able to finish this today and then I'll start a new one. I really want to get into a thriller, but I have to figure out. <laughs> This is what Graham is reading. This is my book of choice for February. <laughs> romantic, very seductive. What are you reading? Um, what do you say after you say hello? That's that's our day. I just hugged a pina colada. That was my breakfast. Nice.
the beach. Time to head back. Uh. <laughs> I've had a lovely day at the beach. We played cups for like an hour. You saw a turtle? Yes. You feel like it's I'm moving in slow motion. 12, 3, 30 does nothing. Yeah, this, this is, is like a, this is a 20, 3, 30. pink on the face but I think that should die down by tomorrow or maybe the next day but it was a really lovely day in Water Island I can't believe we only have one more St. Thomas before the end of the contract like I know the end is coming but it's going by so fast it always does I really need to do laundry so I think we're gonna make a trip out of it I'm gonna bring my iPad my Kindle and try to get a little bit of work done and then read my book a bit. This evening I have another shift of watering the floor, so like making the ice. So we're gonna have fresh ice for the next show day, which will be exciting, but that's at 10 p.m. If you haven't snagged your merch already, I will have all the details in the description box of every single video. I'm so happy with how this merch turned out. I love it so much. Check it out if you haven't already ordered yours. And if you have ordered yours, tag me on Instagram because I would love to see you in the hoodie. was not doing it so I am in the windjammer with Graham. Calum has doors now so I got a little ahead of myself because today is a really good day so I got a lot of food on this plate. That was delicious. I'm so happy we went. We actually had really good food. I'm in the same exact outfit as I was when I did the ice at 6 a.m. this morning but instead it's now 10 p.m. so we're gonna head there now Gonna get through our two hours and then it'll be bedtime. <laughs> We've lost our mind. <laughs> lost track of what day of the cruise it is because we haven't done a show since day one but good morning there is a special surprise <laughs> for us that HR is putting together in the SOB at 10 30 we have no idea what it is it's just some little surprise for Valentine's Day tomorrow we're gonna go to that but we really don't know what to expect and not everyone got an email so I'm not not quite sure what that's about we've got a coffee and we're gonna go get some steps in this morning before our little event surprise event it was a couple's valentine's event so only certain people got an invite us being two of them and it was so sweet they gave us oop, chocolates and a little bottle to celebrate which was so sweet so now we're gonna change and then we're gonna head to the resort as always Callum finally has a good amount of time free so he can get off the ship and enjoy the pool We have got a prime spot. I'm honestly surprised because we have arrived a little bit later than usual. We're right in front of the pool and it's not too busy. of Stacy Peppercorn or whatever her name is from the Sandlot, you know, the lifeguard, that's sure. that energy. Don't bite me. No, he's not gonna bite you. 
Oh, no, he is no. so fast. He's so fast. Bro. 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 <laughs> been a really relaxing day outside. I'm back on board and I'm super excited because I am hosting a little Galentine's get together this evening with the girls from the Ice Cast as well as Graham. So I need to prep the room and get it ready for hosting. <laughs> And here we have the finished product of my cabin. I think it looks super cute considering what I had to work with. I made these little hearts and taped them onto our closet doors. I've added a red throw blanket. It is from Christmas, but red is a Valentine's Day color. So put that down with some pillows. This is definitely the showstopper of the cabin. I just think it looks so cute and I'm so happy with how it turned out. I've got some snacks, which I'm gonna open up soon. And I couldn't snag some wine glasses, so I just have these plastic cups, but I added little bows to them, and I think it's super cute. So these are the cups I'm going to put the mocktails in. If it's not obvious, I love to host, and I'm so excited for everyone to come over. Valentine's Day, so I wanted to do something a little bit special for Callum. So I finished my first ever drawing on Procreate, and it turned out really, really nice. So I had that printed out, and I am going to frame it once I can actually get a frame. But I have some candies, a note, and then I blew up some balloons. So hopefully he will be surprised. I I love surprises. I love surprising people. So he's probably going to expect something, because I usually always do something, but we will see. salad so we've got a little salad rice chicken and then some potatoes with gravy because it is valentine's day i got inspired and decided to do like a pink eyeshadow look and i think it looks really cute still matches the color palette of all of my costumes in the show so it works pretty much ready to go it's about time to head to studio b get all of my costume presets done and come up for the show we are the last warm-up today so ice might be a little bit chopped up by the end but we have fresh ice from the melt they finished yesterday around four o'clock so we have brand new ice so pretty i think we've got red velvet and chocolate the thing is they're not supermarket muffins like there was a little stall jody's in... sweetheart yeah so it's a little stall of like actual like home like like a bakery yeah kind of thing and i mean she said they do wedding cakes <laughs> so i hope that they she was really trying to sell you the wedding yeah. cake <laughs> mm -hmm. it's really nice and i'm not a big cupcake person Mmm, mm-hmm. Frosting is really good too. That's tasty. There you go, it's moist. That's good. <laughs> I 
like my voice sounds a little bit off because I was screaming at the party last night. Like I was having a conversation, but the music was so loud that I was just shouting. And now my vocal cords are suffering because of it. There was a little Valentine's Day party last night at Back Deck, which was actually quite fun. I stayed till about 1.30. So I had a little bit of a later night. I mean, I definitely had a late night for me because I never go out anymore, but it was cute. They decorated, there was a lot of people there. Because of that, I slept in until 7.30. So here we are, but I think I'm gonna wait a little bit to go to the gym. I'm really, really hungry. So gonna get some breakfast and then maybe once that settles in, then we will go to the gym or maybe we'll go later today. Haven't decided yet. I don't know. I'm thinking of staying on board, going on the pool deck. I have a lot, a lot, a lot of editing to do, so that's probably going to take up most of my day. Yesterday was a very, very slow paced day. I didn't get off the ship and I'm just feeling tired these days, like really, really exhausted. And I think that my body is finally understanding that it's the end of the contract, but I did get an amazing night of sleep last night. I'm feeling a lot more energized today, but my body still feels a little bit tired. I was able to make it to the gym this morning at seven. I had a great workout there. It was kind of busy in the gym, but we made it work. I've just come back from breakfast and now I need to really zone in on editing because I did not get a ton of that done yesterday. absolutely crazy as ever but I have made it back from all skates just changed out of my blues and I am at 97% in my book and this has been a wild ride like this has been a crazy book but I feel like it's gonna get really really crazy we're about to find out something crucial right now I literally don't even know what to expect but it's not gonna be good I kind of feel like I know what might happen but This book is messed up. Well, that was something. <laughs> that was a crazy freaking book. What a whack family. I don't even have words to describe what I just read. Really, really enjoyed it, but definitely, definitely bizarre. In case you're wondering, the book I just finished, The House We Grew Up In by Lisa Jewell, I really enjoy her style of writing, but that was a little bit too heavy for me. I think I wanna go back to something a little bit lighter for my next book and kind of alternate. It's time for dinner and we are going to head to the Windjammer. We aren't allowed to go to Windjammer until 8.30. We're gonna try and get in a few minutes early. And it's dressed to impress tonight, so. I'm in this like almost maxi dress. It's kind of like a midi dress, but I think it fits the occasion. Day nine of the cruise, the final day, we have made it. This cruise 
kind of dragged on for me. I don't know why. It's just felt a lot slower than other nine-day cruises. Could also be that I haven't gotten off the ship in four days, which is kind of my own fault anyways. <laughs> but anyways, today is great because I have a pretty free schedule. I have parade later this afternoon and this evening I have farewell, but other than that, the day is mine. So I have a lot of work to do on the computer. I've been working on it this morning for a bit. Want to head up to the gym and get a workout in. I'm hoping it's not going to be too busy up there, but I guess we'll find out when we get there. And yeah, today is just going to be a day for me trying to get things done because tomorrow is turnaround day and we have a five day cruise coming up. So it's going to be very, very busy. is hot. Believe it or not, this is my first coffee of the day and it is two o'clock. Not too shabby. Work is coming along very well actually. I have been quite productive. I'm feeling good about my work progress today. Unfortunately, the weather's not great outside. I wanted to sit on the pool deck and read my book a little bit, but it's looking like it's about to rain, so probably won't make it up there. As much as I love this cabin and we've made it like our space being in here for hours on end is not good it always makes me really tired so i might go back deck again and read a bit or continue with work there just because i want to sit in the room too long plus it's always good to have a change of space for like work versus sleeping because when i'm editing in bed it just makes me tired show and then on the five-day cruise we have two doesn't really make sense but here we are so it is eight o'clock now and we have reservations for Azumi, a little post valentine's date because i had shows on valentine's day so we weren't able to do it then so we're going tonight and i'm very excited it's been a while the last time we went was for new year's a month and a half too long you know I switched it up today. I've got chicken udon. Sounded really, really good. Now I've got the same. He got beef udon. 